So I was just walking and we're on our way to the park and there's like pages torn up of a book. I don't know what kind of book it is, but that's interesting. I kind of want to pick up some of the pages and read them. Uh, and y'all just got weird men riding that. Like you see me walking with my baby. Don't stop trying to and try to talk to us. Yeah, just totally caught me off guard, caught me off track. So let me just try to pay attention to where I'm going because I don't like shit like that, especially when I'm walking with my baby. If I was by myself, it still would be uncomfortable, but even more so, I got my child with me. But I did want to pick up some of them pages and kind of see what some of them some of them said and maybe write a poem. So I think on the way back, I'm gonna try to pick some up and see what I can do with that. are out and about we at the park not sitting in the house i'm not on the couch in the living room while my son is in his stroller and i'm trying to get something done so it's a nice day out we have a hands meeting that's actually like a parent type of like a new parent program meeting that we're in i like coming to the park on days like this and at times like this before kids get out of school because this park is right across the street from the school as you saw in some of the clips the basketball court was empty. There's a few people here uh, right across from me right now um, under the sprinklers. They have their kid out and they're just chilling, so I don't even mind. But when it's too many people out here and a whole bunch of kids and stuff, I mean, it's cool, but I just like it when it's nice, calm and peaceful, quiet, not too many people out. And it's almost like we got the park to ourselves and we can do whatever we want. <laughs> so. Uh, I'm gonna record a few videos while I'm out here. We'll do a bit of journaling. My son just ran through the sprinklers. He's getting wet. I don't even care. I didn't put anything on him to get wet in, but hey, I'm gonna let him do his thing and have fun. He likes the water now. He was very hesitant about the sprinklers at first, but now not so much. And they just cut the sprinklers off. They're about to cut them back on though. But yeah, he just walked all through there <laughs> and got soaking wet. You coming to mama? You got wet in the sprinklers? <laughs> but one thing I wanna get back into habit of doing, along with, you know, making my videos and journaling, making poetry, creating in general, I wanna get back into the habit of going out to places, um, going out to different parks, cafes and things like that. Mainly because I got a son now and I don't just want to be sitting up in the house with him all day I want to take him out and do things things that I didn't get to do when I was a kid But also to go to new places to write in journal like I don't want to always sit in the house on the couch writing um, You can only write so much from that type of experience. So I want to get out more the sun is like beaming so my eyes are <laughs> watering, but I want to get out more and go to different places to try different places to journal at. And I know people like journaling in cafes and things like that, so I definitely wanna do that. I would love to experience a writing retreat, even if I create one myself. I know a friend and I have been talking about it, so I don't know, I've got some ideas and things. I'm not gonna speak too much on them, but I just wanna put them out there, jot them down or whatever, and kind of plan for them and just go for it. Not do too much planning, but like just, have that uh i don't know have the idea out there that i'm oh hey girl so she just walked up i didn't even know who it was so we're gonna do our hands meeting and i'll get back we're on a tour to a little uh our meeting just ended and my son is soaking wet we did not plan on coming here for him to get wet but i knew the sprinklers was gonna be on so I mean, it's fine. He ain't got on no outfit that he can't get wet in. It's just gonna be a matter of, he's not gonna dry that fast because these aren't clothes to get wet in and we didn't bring a towel because we wasn't coming up here to get wet. Um, this was supposed to be a writing vlog, but so far it's turning to be everything but that. And that's okay, I'm not even mad about it because this can be like a visual writing, like visual journaling session or something like that. And plus there's more people at the park now, but we got some people playing basketball and stuff now, which I ain't tripping about. It's still not a lot. 
and even if it was i i'm in the mood and the vibe to where i don't really care that's why i'm like standing up recording i'm having a good time my son's having a good time Ooh, come on i had to help him up off the, the hump i brought the two cards that i pulled from that let's get deep card game for couples which like i said again i don't use it uh, for that purpose I use it for journaling and these was the two cards that came out if you could have a video of any moment in your life which would you pick and why and what is the moment you get nostalgic about and why pulling those two cards last night I couldn't really think about I did journal uh, but it had nothing to do with the two cards that I had pulled so I did journal twice yesterday actually uh, I will this was the 29th and then the next day, the 30th. But I couldn't really think of, I wanna pop this up somewhere, but it's kind of hard. I don't know where I can pop this up yet, up at, but I couldn't really think of what to journal about with these two cards. Uh, it only allowed me to really reflect on like, like I said, the moment of my pregnancy, the moment of giving birth for the first time. I want more kids, but you never know if that's in the cards for you. So it is something that I want to, I would love to experience again and be able to, you know, take every moment in and like really appreciate every moment for what it is instead of like complaining at times or not knowing what to expect at times or, you know, it, it was the first, first time I was going through everything so that everything was new I wasn't knowing what to expect um, I didn't think to record everything not even just video wise but like even journaling I could have kept up with that a lot more and I wish I would have done that a lot more but that's okay so I feel like that's something that I wish could have a, I could have a video of but just because you don't have videos um, to remember things that you've done in the past accomplishments or things like that it doesn't mean that like like it didn't happen or I don't know I'd be you'd be seeing those memes where it's like nowadays it's like if you don't get it on video then it didn't happen but it's like you can use your memories to re-record those thoughts and turn it into like a poem or a song or an art piece or something like uh, things reimagined or what's the word like reiterate or i don't know i can't think of the word right now but you can just redo those things and create new stories and new artworks from them but also just knowing that the times that we are in now where you can easily pick up a phone or camera or whatever and record something knowing that so do it now like i'm doing now just picking up this camera this video is probably going to be all over the place my next few videos are probably going to be all over the place and i want to have my videos more structured and everything but right now you know it's gemini season so if i'm rambling i got videos all over the place my topics are all over the place if i'm not sticking to journaling like i'm trying to do or sticking sticking to writing a poem i'm gonna just let it rock and let it be what it is this season yeah just everything doesn't need to be recorded and everything doesn't have to be recorded you don't have to feel bad about not having a certain moment in your life recorded because if you got it up here and you got it in here you can put it out no matter what time it is i understand like memories can get fuzzy and things like that but you gonna have a good portion of that memory still there unless you're a lot older don't wait that long to try to reimagine whatever the word was that I was trying to get at don't wait that long but you got time so like I said I'm recording this moment I'll record other moments and then some moments I won't record I'll have them mentally recorded in my head and then maybe write or journal about them and then as far as what is the moment I get nostalgic about, you know, pretty soon I'm going to probably get nostalgic about uh, sitting here at this park right now doing this video. When I'm not doing videos no more, when I'm old, if I'm like 60 or something and I stop doing videos then, I can get nostalgic about that. Or just like old TV shows I used to watch, Powerpuff Girls, Blues Kids, all of that. Like if those shows come on, I'll get nostalgic about it. You know, seeing the kids now graduating from high school, uh, going to prom, things like that. Trying to figure out where they want to go to college. 
Even things like that can be nostalgic. So my niece just graduated from high school and she had a graduation party and just like after that, uh, her and some family members like that she's close with in age and some of her friends, they was gonna go out to a hotel. And it was just like, just remembering when I was graduating high school, remember when I was going to prom and remembering when I was going to like hotel parties and stuff like that. When I graduated high school, I don't think I had a graduation party. I don't think I did anything after I graduated. I might have went out to eat, but that's as far as that goes. But prom, you know, I went to a hotel at the prom and no, don't be thinking like, mm, what was she, none of that happened, but it was a nice time. So I don't know, I was just thinking about stuff like that. And even just, not even just the good things, like even the, I wouldn't say it's bad, but like people that you were close with in high school, that you thought you would be friends with and close with forever. You know, I can't say that. I know a lot of people who can, but I know a lot of people who can't as well, and I'm one that can't. I don't have any friends from high school still. There's people that I've caught up with, you know, here and there since then, but none of us are close or friends or even really acquaintances anymore. But it's still like a nostalgic feeling just thinking about it. Even riding past, if I ride past my high school, if I ride past my middle school, I'll get that nostalgic feeling and start thinking about, you know, just all these memories will rush and flood in. You know, I didn't physically journal about this, but just me talking about it was, you know, basically like a journal, journaling session in itself. And I'm glad about that for what it is, but I am going to try to write something. But I can read what I wrote just a line of what I wrote and then I'm gonna go into another video to do the, the next part of it but I was right one of the lines that I wrote was overthinking so much that I can't think straight my mind goes blank like losing ink from my pen so I'm gonna save that for this next video that I'm gonna work on and it really ties into just how a lot of these vlogs these next videos are gonna be because like I said they're gonna be all over the place but it's Gemini season so I'm gonna just let it flow for the season that we're in